Hello and welcome to another Sewing for a Living tutorial. In this video I'm gonna quickly show you another way to fix the neckline by the use of pleats. I'm doing a second tutorial on the same technique because I want to demonstrate that not only the fix you are going to use matters, but also how and where to take in the fabric. In the previous video I made the pleats in the center front. This seemed to be the best option for this exact t-shirt. The fabric to take in there was not that much and the problem existed only at the front. I'm going to put a link to the other video in the description so that you can compare and see what I'm talking about. Also, I was working on a flat child's chest and today I'm going to fix my own t-shirt. I'm a busty girl so center front pleats would add even more volume at that area, which I don't want. So let's start and see how it goes. I'm going to put the pleats on the sides. The position and depth of the pleats depends only on your preferences and the amount of fabric that needs to be reduced. The only thing that is important is to make them even on both sides. That's why I'm going to start from the shoulder seams and put a pin where I imagine the pleats to be. I line uh, the front at the shoulder seams and put a marking pin on one side. Then I'm going to replicate it on the other side. I've already measured that I need to remove 4 inches or 10 centimeters. I'm using the measuring tape to mark how deep the pleats are going to be. In this case, I'm going for 1 inch deep pleats and I'm going to make 2 of them on each side. So I'm marking 1 inch up from the pin for the first pleat and 1 inch down for the second. One pleat is made by folding the fabric between two pins, so I end up with four pins with one inch of fabric in between. Then I fold the fabric from pin to pin and move the pin so that it holds the fabric fold. I do that for both pleats. Be careful to fold the fabric in the same direction so you end up with even and matching pleats. You can see how much we have reduced the neckline on one side already. I would suggest you try the t-shirt on before you sew and adjust if you need to. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Finally, I'm going to make a straight stitch right on top of the cover stitch machine seam to make the alteration invisible. If this was a new sewing project, I wouldn't choose the cover stitch seam for a cotton t-shirt neckline because there is no elasticity and the fabric doesn't recover after the intensive stretch. But since this is a ready to wear, that's the best I can do to fix the neck. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. This was Daniela from Sewing for a Living. Thank you for watching.